The Yankees have released their non-roster invitee list for spring training. And there was one name that really stood out. Jason Dominguez got an invite. What's going on guys? It's the king of 161st street. I'm back with another video and this is a big moment because there is, even though it's a very minute possibility, you gotta think because he's on the spring training roster, Jason Dominguez has a slight chance to make this full roster. Again, he's only 19 right now. He's about to turn 20 this month. And so once spring training starts, he will be 20 years old. It's very young and also has only played five games in double a so basically if he were to get an opportunity in the bigs he would be basically making the jump from single a to the major league now if he had that type of experience he has in single a and like high a i think i think it's more called if he had that in double a i'd say it's fine go for it because it's kind of hurt of to sort of jump from double a to major league baseball if you're playing that well if you have that type of potential and jason dominguez based off of all these scouts he seems like that type of talent but single a seems pretty pretty far that seems like a pretty far jump what you'd have to consider here right is other than the first couple innings spring training is basically like playing triple and double a would a month of sing of triple and double a baseball be enough for the yankees to be convinced because this would only really matter if Dominguez comes out firing on all cylinders, like a 400 batting average, hits like 10 homers, steals 15 bags, and has like an on-base percentage close to 400, like what Kyle Higosh Higashioka gave us last year, what Greg Bird did on a regular basis. That's why he's the greatest spring training player of all time. But if he gives us something along those lines, and a guy like Oswaldo kind of starts off slow, a guy like Everson Pereira kind of starts off slow. Aaron Hicks plays like Aaron Hicks. This this is where the Yankees may start to look and be like, and they may bring it up. That's what I'm trying to say. Is there any chance someone in that room goes, Jason Dominguez could be our starter, which is crazy. And now thinking about that, there is a chance now, like it's a 1% possibility, but there is a chance that we haven't, we have a, a fielding situation of Oswald Peraza at short, Anthony Volpe at second, Jason Dominguez in left, and Oswaldo is our utility guy. It's fucking night. That's a fucking great thing for us to sort of figure out what we have. I don't want to get rid of Glaber Torres, but the Yankees have already made it clear they want him out. I don't know exactly why. They may not like his attitude. There's definitely more things to that story that we don't know. But they want him out. That means you throw Volpe in at second. Oswald's very athletic. You could keep him at short. Jason Dominguez goes out to left. And then if you really want it to be crazy. You throw Oswald Doe at short. Oswald at third. Now you got a fucking fully rookied out left side of your field. That's, <laughs> I mean, look, it's a less than 1% possibility. But based on what we have in spring training right now, it is a possibility. Other things to keep an eye on for this spring training. Willie Calhoun. Now, he's a he's a guy who came from Texas. His career didn't fully pan out there. Sort of got released. Now he got a minor league deal and was invited to spring training. You know what I compare him to? He could become what Greg Allen was for the Yankees in 2021. If we get some injuries or they trade Glaber and they're not comfortable playing two rookies in the middle infield, they have it. They have Calhoun here listed as an outfielder, but he has experience playing second base. And I could definitely see him having that type of firepower offensively to where in a month or two stretch that we need him, he balls the fuck out. And we start to look at him like, we need to buy his jersey because he's the GOAT. I sort of see that potential in Willie Calhoun. Other people there, Anthony Siegler was a first round pick at the catcher position. Sort of just to see what we got. I don't know if there would be any chance he gets close to the majors at this point, but you know, it's, it's always a possibility. You got guys like Elijah Dunham. I've heard that name be thrown around. We'll see what, what he's got. But a lot of this is just to see what we have in our minor league system. But there are a few storylines here that are very cool. So I just wanted to bring that to, to everyone's attention. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Sorry for the inconsistencies. I haven't been feeling too well. But I will be back being consistent soon. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.